Hello guys, this is Amber and this is the weekly reading for the element of air. Okay, we're going to start with, oh this is for, <laughs> this is for December 17th through 23rd. Okay, so we're going to start with Gemini. Okay, Spirit. What do you have for Gemini for the week of December 17th through 23rd? What would you like them to know, be aware of, or pay attention to at this time? On the bottom of the deck you have the justice so I feel like you are coming to grips with something okay um, something that was unfair or something that wasn't fair or maybe you weren't being fair in something and now you're trying to create balance or take accountability for this situation okay uh, this is about a need to move forward or to make a decision Okay, I feel like you need to make a decision about where you want to grow, where you want to manifest your time or your energy. What are you trying to learn from this situation so you can end it and then walk into fairness? Okay, because it feels like something that has been going on over time. Okay, and it just needs to come to some sort of conclusion. All right, there needs to be some fairness brought in the situation or some balance. What I'm hearing is you've tried to do it by yourself and your own rules and now it's time to do what's needed to be done okay all right so i feel like you are you have a situation that's up in the air okay and there's some enlightenment or some truth coming to you letting you know that it's something that you need to deal with okay you need to have the confidence to get it done Okay. There's an opportunity to have something that is more secure and have balance within that opportunity. That opportunity will create balance or moderation, get you back in harmony with your path or where it is that you're supposed to go. Okay. But there's a little bit more to be done. You have to be strong. I feel like you're going against a lot of things. Okay, so you have to continue forward in this knowledge, this epiphany, this idea, this strength for victory. So I'm actually being led to focus on these three cards. Okay, so this is about knowing that something good will come out of it. There is positivity and confidence and success here, but you have to create some sort of balance or harmony within the situation. I feel like this is going to take a lot of moderation from you. OK, um, from this clarity that you're getting. OK, it is going to lead you to victory, but you have to have patience and moderation in what it is that this opportunity is giving to you. It's like there's some security here and you need to remember that. And that's what's going to help you move forward. OK, you need to really listen to your intuition, this knowledge, the truth of the matter, the things that are being revealed to you, the potential that is actually here. OK, let your past go let it go move forward it's time it says the burdens of carting your past around has made you weary why am i up so high <laughs> dear one it's time to set the burden down keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind you don't want it or need it and now it is gone pretty self-explanatory gemini Next, we have Libra, Spirit Guide. What do you have for Libra for December 17th through 23rd? What would you like them to know, be aware of, pay attention to, focus upon during this time of December 17th through 23rd?
You have one card fly out and it is the temperance. This is about patience as well and finding balance. Okay. But it's it's different from the justice, okay? Because it's about not really seeing, okay, what is happening. It means that there are some changes and things are different and you just have to find a way to balance this in life, you know, so you can continue forward, finding moderation, okay, within that patience of something new. Look at that. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords, and that is some acknowledgement, communication, an epiphany, um, some sort of mental strength or communication that gives you some sort of clarity, okay? So you're trying to move forward, okay, into something, some emotional renewal, okay? Or this could possibly be something from your past, okay? But I feel like you're trying to move I almost feel like you're trying to move with it. I don't feel like you're trying to move away from it. I feel like you're trying to move into it. Like it's coming back and you're trying to go from negative energy into a more positive type of energy. Okay. And this is you. Basically, you want to nurture the situation. Okay. You want to find beauty and abundance and love here. You see some growth happening or an opportunity for growth. And this is where the clarity is coming in. It's you finding strength within the situation. The fact that it's coming back, the fact that you're trying brings something new to the picture for you. I feel like there's a lot of movement this week for you. So you're creating this balance because someone wants to work with you, okay? So it's like you're, tr you're learning how to work with them or finding moderation, uh, how to spend time together, energy this person may work. You're just trying to work it out together. You're working towards a common goal. So you're trying to find some balance within that so that can happen. You may be dealing with a fire sign that's a bit younger than you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they're bringing some new passion in. Even if you've known them before, they're bringing in this energy, okay? Or this, this new feeling, this new passion, wanting to start something, wanting to move forward. And I feel like you're very controlled and disciplined about what it is that you have. Um, I do feel like you're open. I feel like you're allowing them to come towards you, but I don't feel like you're opening up to them what it is that you really have. And that's because you're trying to have a sort of control or a piece of control of the situation. The justice comes to bring balance. Very interesting with the temperance. I did say something about the justice. The justice come because there's some lack of accountability on someone's part or some dishonesty from the past. And that is what you're working through or working on. Okay. Trying to almost leave this behind or this idea of no direction from the past and move past that. Okay. But the two of swords means that you're kind of stopped in that development. And what I mean by that is you're just not making a decision. Okay, you're not quite going with the flow, but you're not quite pushing them away either. It's almost like you're looking to see where their direction is, what kind of discipline they have. Are they using this page energy and they're just coming in and going back out? Maybe that's something they normally do. And that's why you have this temperance here because you're trying to be patient to see how this is going to unfold. But I do feel like this week there is a lot of in and out, a lot of communication, a lot of something. Okay, we have blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually a part of your answer prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Okay, and last but not least, we have Aquarius.
Spirit, may I please have a reading for Aquarius for December 17th through 23rd? What would you like them to know, be aware of, pay attention to, acknowledge at this time of December 17th through 23rd? I feel like another car flipped over. Okay, well, maybe not. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Emperor. You may be dealing with a, an Aries. I see a Virgo, I see a Scorpio, I see a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I also see a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but that might just be your energy, okay? But with this, I feel the need, you're, I feel like you feel the need to take control of a situation because maybe you feel like it's going to get out of hand, okay? So there is some sort of message or knowledge or um, feeling about something you may be ignoring. Yep, I definitely get the feeling you feel like you're ignoring something and it's about to end. There's a feeling that something is about to end. Something is worrying you. It's like you feel change or need to make a move on something to take control of it. Okay. Someone's taking a passive approach here. It could be you, it could be them, or someone within the situation. Someone's taking a passive approach they may also be taking a break. There could possibly be a break, especially with the Hermit card, to do some thinking or to figure out what it is that they want or what they need, okay? There's some energy of a separation, especially with the Nine of Swords here, okay? This separation is causing worry. You're worrying that it's over, okay? But I feel like they're telling you that they need time to think so they can come back better or that the relationship can come back better or something like, um, I need time to myself and if I come back, it's just meant to be sort of energy. But I feel like there is a person that is worried that they won't come back because they'll realize that they feel better being alone, okay? Yes. The death card does bring endings um, and it does bring, however, it does bring a transformation from that ending, okay? Um, the thing is, they may come back and they may not. With the death card. And that's because it brings in a new cycle. So it brings in a new cycle that needed to come. Whatever this new cycle is bringing in is going to bring structure. Okay? Um, it is ending something. Something that needed to end, especially with the Ten of Swords. It's something that has been happening over and over again and been hurting you or this other person and it needed to end. And I feel like it has something to do with their self-esteem or the fact that they feel like they don't achieve enough. They feel under, like an underachiever or something of that nature. And this idea is multiplying or taking over them, okay? So that's why they need this time alone to figure out what's going on. This could be you or it could be them. The death does bring an ending, okay? Um, you need to understand that with the three of wands, this is the early results or plans towards something, okay? And this is bringing in security, more reliability, but that's the problem. They can't feel whole if they're not whole with themselves. This relationship can't be whole if they're not whole, okay? So sometimes you do have to spend some time alone to figure out what it is that's best for you. Relationships come together as a partnership, okay? Each individual has to be on their level, on their high, highest vibration 
along with their partner okay sometimes you need time to be alone to figure out what it is that you need and that's what they're doing they're trying to transform become better change start a new cycle but the three of wands is telling me that this is this this is the early stages of something else giving way to a new opportunity you know like like early results okay and the early results especially with the ten of pentacles you know tells me that it's um, it's about security it's about home it's about family it's about those that they are going to keep in their life if you're not meant to be there then you won't be involved you know what i mean unfortunately okay so it's really about listening to well it's about the potential of the relationship it's about the potential of the situation you're in. Looking at the secrets, looking at the things revealed to you. Maybe you're having dreams about something. Let your past go. And with that card, I feel like that's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to move forward to become better, to end things, to take more control of the situation and not be how they were in the past. Or this could be you, your energy doing this. Okay. So thank you so much for listening. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, next week. This is not a daily reading. <laughs> I love you very much. Love and light.